Hi guys! So this would be my first in a while video in English and I decided to do more videos in English because um, I'm living just in a country where people are not talking my language so I thought it would be nice that they can also understand what I'm doing and uh, now I wanted to show you in this uh, video today a uh, makeup tutorial for this look it's really dramatic absolutely it's not everyday makeup uh, so I did just uh, eye makeup face and everything rest I did uh, beside or behind the camera because I just didn't use anything new and I didn't want to waste your time so if you want to look how I created this look just keep on watching and let's get started for primary I'm using uh, Character in shade 03 pair and I will place just a little amount and time to my finger. Like that. Then I will set everything with translucent powder just to set everything in place. And to make blending more easy okay then we will start by drawing this line here and for that I will use uh, okay so now I will use uh, this shade from for the cake when the pan palette and the shade square pack is this one burgundy dark shade and I will use it just with a liner brush in the same place where I placed this line. Then we will fix everything with this brush. Okay. And then I will use this small brush and blend everything without any product. Okay, so now I will start uh, drawing this cat eye and for that I will use the steam brush, this tiny and I will use a uh, neck gel eyeliner, black one and I will start uh, drawing this ring and filling it in with this new color. Okay, now we will um, fill in this wing with the black eyeshadow and I will use just this one from the palette, it's really good and nice pigmented and I will just press in this eyeliner just to stay in place. I will use a wet wipe just to clean a little bit this wing downstairs. So yeah, I will just wrap it around my finger like this and just clean it. Something is missing. Uh, I will use 
also another brush and this punk shade that we use in Greece and I will just place it between this black and this uh, gold shade that goes onto the lid. Now I will use this gold with the wet uh, brush and I will place it in the first half of my lid. Over that I will use this loose pigment, it's from Kiko Milano and it's called Artist Stroke number no. 2. I think it was, yeah, I believe it was limited edition, but it's really gorgeous, like uh, glitter, it's sparkling, and I will press it a little bit gold. It's also, it gives gold reflex, but it's a little bit more sparkling than this gold eyeshadow. And now I will just use some of those brushes that we used before and blend everything together so it looks smooth and round. And just like that. Okay. Now I will clean. I will just uh, hold the tempera. It's really nice matte eyeshadow. And I will place that. Uh, in this empty space. And it. Okay, now we will curl lashes. I will use this L'Oreal Mist Hippie and I will do just do upper lashes. So until mascara dries, I will uh, use products to do my uh, bottom lids. So I will use the same gel eyeliner and put it in my waterline. Okay, now I will try to extend this uh, bottom lash, bottom lash, I did here. So I will here do just straight line, just like that. shadow again in my waterline to set this eyeliner because it goes away really quick and like this it looks a little bit more black and I will use another brush and uh, again shade zone it's really nice hot not hot it's chocolate brown and I will blend this a little bit more. Okay. And, and for the end, I will use again this pigment by Kiko. I will spray the really tiniest brush I've ever seen. Like this. 
and I will create this premium also between uh, this line and the lid and it will be uh, highlight Now before I put uh, eyelashes on, I will do uh, just a quick line with eyeliner to connect the uh, beginning of my eye with the end. Red cherry lashes and they are I believe they are the same, yeah. They are in a uh, in styled stage. This you can find for like uh, two or three years and they are really, really good. You can reuse them. I use one pair like four to five times without any problems. You just need to uh, clean them after using and to uh, spread a bit of alcohol. And they are really great to use again. So I will just place those. And they are really, really easy to apply. Thank you. 